we'll talk about the website and your clips. You want to give the website so you can go out and look at it because he's done a great job on that, by the way, of doing did a slice of minutes and the video backup that pertained to that segment of minutes. How do you access it? Is Bud.com. Hamptonbud.com is the website, uh, but right now uh, that's all, all that's on there is the issue I spoke about uh, relative to the public comment I made last mm -hmm. night. You have to go to a specific file, which is not on a menu or anything. Can you, happen, send, can you send that, that to the to committee members? I happened to show Eileen as kind of as I was playing with some new uh, technology, basically, and so I don't consider it polished enough to actually announce it to the world. All right. Yes, I can send out a link to the to the committee. You can send a link out it. to the. But please keep in mind, it's not like really polished. It's kind of cool, but it's not polished. So. But it's not what I'm talking about in the minutes, but something for further discussion. Is this the website of the budget committee? No. 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 This is a no. private website. It's no. Your website. It's my website, mm -hmm. and I'm willing to uh, um, integrate it with the committee if, to the extent that the committee wishes to. Uh, but that is not a discussion that we've had, and but it is something I'm willing to have a discussion about, if you wish, if the committee wishes. Uh, because my intent on that website is to capture, you know, have a centralized location to capture factual data, um, and and I'd like it accessible to everyone in town, especially it'll be focused primarily on the budget committee issues or work. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a, it's not really the minutes as much as the facts, you know, like I'd like to get that little video snippet from last year when the DPW was in here and he said we had 78 miles of roads. This last election, there was much confusion about how many roads we had in town. We shouldn't be arguing over facts. Facts are like not debatable, <laughs> you know, they, they are facts or they're not, you know. Uh, so I just want a place to throw facts in and uh, I can access and anyone else can access and, and, and just uh, mm -hmm. you know, have the support of documentation behind it. Is your choice of name, does that run any risk of the people going to the website thinking it's the budget committee's website? Well, I can't control what other people think. I don't want to control what other people think. And I don't speculate so much on what they think. I just uh, try to put out good ideas and do good work. And what is the title of your website? I don't have a title on it right now, actually. Yeah. What's the web address? Is what, by the way, web address. address. Web address. The web address is HamptonBud.com. You type www.HamptonBud.com. Well, again, to me, that gives the appearance that it is sanctioned by the budget budget Thank you. Thank you. I said uh, that gives the appearance that it is sanctioned by the budget committee. HamptonBud.com. One could argue that if you go out mm. on the internet, there's all kinds of. Yeah websites that look like they're official government, the, their list is just endless, so I wouldn't go down that road. You'd be spinning in the wind. Okay. I my, would say, my email I threw that out there for, okay. well, Did you know, Richard, that there's a w the website for the Hampton Village District? You know what that address is? No, no idea. It's uh, HamptonBeach.org. Mm -hmm. But there's a private website called HamptonBeach.com. Yeah. And I don't own that one, by the way. And the Hampton Fire Department is dot com, not dot org. Yeah. Mm. Well, everybody else is. The intent. It's just a name, Richard. The intent. Okay, I'm going to move on from the minutes. We've solved that problem. Right. I think going forward, may never be an issue for the remaining <coughs> years <laughs> because <laughs> Joan has always served us night. well. But I just wanted to have something okay. in place so that it wouldn't be my decision, let's say, to deal with it one way or the other. And me personally, I can't do this and write the minutes at the same time. Mm -hmm. I did it at one meeting. It didn't work out I too well. Do minutes, I okay. Mm. Moving on to communications. It is <coughs> on us to post our minutes. And this is where some of the problem and some of the discussion, too, with Tim and the development of his website as well as the library and what's going on here comes in. We have to post our agenda. We have to post our meetings. When we post them, most of the time they get taken down. To address this, it's done so frequently um, that it's almost a joke. I 
come by and post it and usually the week before the, me the meeting uh, so that we remain legal with the 48 hour notice. I'm in here every day putting a new one up <laughs> and quite honestly that's annoying. All right. So the idea is to find other areas that we can post that will not be taken down other than town hall. And I've worked with Christine in the past to post it on the calendar. Posting it on the calendar represents one area. Posting it in the library, they don't get taken out of the library as often. Hampton, uh, using it. Hampton Union hasn't posted on Tuesdays. I think we, can't always, we can't always depend on that, but we have to put a 48-hour notice out for a meeting, so I usually put it out the week before, and then I spend the entire week reposting it only to tell me, have people tell me that there wasn't anything up there. But if you go upstairs and talk to Fred, he'll have a big chuckle when you ask him where the minutes go. Um, and the postings for the meetings go. So I started to explore other areas. Talk to the library. They're very receptive to adding us to their website informationally. They've done a lot of website development. Uh, they also would love to entertain an open conversation on Warren articles where they post the Warren articles from the uh, office. So the planning board, let's say, or the board of selectmen, or any citizen out there who has a private petition Warren article could post the Warren article. And then there could be an open discussion, a blog, not censored as long as appropriate language was used, that would open the discussion for and against a Warren article on the library site. So kind of a little bit of growth in there and thought I'd roll it out in the organizational meeting to have everybody think of different places not traditionally that we're using to get this discussion going. Maybe we can preempt any yellow or blue or green sheet out there by just finding places in town and, and ways that serve us that general information could be there and people can know to go there and have a discussion about and see openly as the authors meant it to be. I mean, by the time sometimes we get to deliberative session and things get hacked up a little bit, you know, it, it doesn't serve the original intent that it did. All of this is an open discussion, as with budget um, minutes and, and so on and so forth. So if you want to give that some thought between now and the next meeting, we can take it up under old business the next time. I don't think you, men you mentioned that uh, you... Town, but on the town website, this meeting today is not on the town website. It's on town calendar. The town calendar is not posting out the agenda, which is legally right. required. It's under documents on the town website. You're, you haven't anything mm -hmm. posted since February 4th under that place, which we normally post things. But that begs the question, has it been submitted and do we have control of the posting, which is a whole different... If no, you, you don't. It in, it'll get in there. And that's the thing, is that I bring it in, if it's not there, I have no control over that. Uh, Christine always posts them, as far as I know. She has never had a problem. So. Well, you give it to her and, and deliver it. You'll be in Bat City. She shouldn't be happy to be giving it to her. She should be able to just post it herself. Exactly. So. Just like, just like. She uh, just, I know she can't technically because it hasn't been technically set up to do that. Okay. But it's just like you know, uh, she referred to uh, the uh, yellow sheet which is actually right for the taxpayers of Hampton.org, rtoh.org, which is a website uh, for the yellow sheet, uh, is actually put out just what you described. <coughs> Warren articles up there before the deliver session even. The ability for anybody to come in and make comments, which they have. And then after the deliver session, video snippets of every Warren article that was discussed at the deliver session. So you can't preempt them because they've already done it. Nobody's looking to preempt. Uh, well, you use the word preempt, so I was just pointing that out. Uh, and that was also an example of something where people can post things on their own. Okay, and so you should be able to have your own calendar, in my opinion. And I think every committee should have, every committee chairman or, or secretary, whatever is appropriate should be able to post directly on a town calendar in a secure point. fashion. Mm -hmm. Is if I don't have control over it and I'm giving it to somebody else and it's not there. If I don't have the cracks that way. I don't have authority to come in and, and actually post something on our website. 
And have there been times when I brought it in and it didn't get there? Yeah, they have. All right, so... If you wanted, I oh, can make an area on HamptonBud.com where you'll be able to do that if you want. Mm -hmm. Well, this is... If you want. It's finding places. If we have libraries, we have multiple places. The thing is, we know we have to post it. We want people to be able to access it. It's public information. I just want to make sure that it's there. Quite honestly, I want to stop coming to town five times to have five notices picked up by somebody and taken off the board and then get a call that I don't have anything posted. Don't, so don't we have a board that you can lock, like they have in no, schools? No, I've asked. Know, I've asked that they put a glass board out there. I mean, um, but <laughs> just they a don't. Big board. Yeah. And it's not. Oh, it's, I know. It's just it's a big board. It's not just that stuff. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's other things other, that yeah. go. No. People come and they the take library, it as a copy. The library, you can just. No, they don't pay, even pay attention to it. People can come in, tack something up there, mm -hmm. and they don't even pay attention who's tacking up what. Right. That's why <laughs> we had a locked board here. I guess the bottom line is to find the remedies mm -hmm. for the things that aren't working as well as they could. All righty. Do we have a consensus from this board that we could we could uh, if, if uh, use the HamptonBud.com as as a vehicle, an additional vehicle to all of the other things that you're doing? Is that is there a consensus? I would this board I would say before we start doing that, let's have a full board. And okay. if you would be so kind as to send that link. Page that page of those little minutes I was playing with me from yeah. the last meeting. Yeah, yeah I can send that up. You but keep that. in mind it wasn't polished. All right. but, you know, um, it's just a suggestion that we find different avenues to get mm -hmm. this out that we have perhaps more control over or more input into for ourselves or the library <coughs> or their website. And They've they done a lot of websites. They can all be linked together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true, but I think you wouldn't be able to use his website for an official posting of the minutes or agendas. Right. right. It's just an additional place. It's right? an additional oh, I think place. so, too. I, I like I the idea, I looked but I'm at just saying it. it wouldn't be yeah. official. I actually looked at the, I went to that site after you had mm -hmm. talked at the selections mm -hmm. meeting last mm -hmm. night, and I thought it looked pretty sharp, and I Thank thought you. that was very nice, so. There's actually a link on it to the library. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that as well. That's why I'm saying it can all be linked well, together. Well, you could go and get the official po one of the official posters Correct. of the minutes. My only intent with this conversation is that we get our information out there better, perhaps, than in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, to where you, should, you know, send stuff into the Hampton patch, go right on. You can set your own blog up, or you can. Say, Kyle Booker is now working for the Hampton Union. He'd be happy to publish this stuff. No, you can use the patch also. That's true. Mm -hmm. No, he's not with the patch. Anymore. No, no, I said we could use the patch well, also. Yeah, right. First of all, yeah. the patch has taken all this information third hand. And second of all, um, Kyle Stucker is working for the Hampton Union, who doesn't have space for everybody's everything. Mm -hmm. I want to find places that we could actually yeah. depend on that it goes in the same way all the time. We don't have well, to. What it is, you can set your own blog up at the Hampton Patch and you can send the stuff right up. Yeah. yeah. I've got a blog. Today. Knowing how they've been destructuring lately, I don't think I would go out to um, go yeah, do well, that right now. Hey, okay. well, I was just selling them off. All right.